What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing several edge on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. We upload every single day here, and we are going to be pumping out a bunch of doubles and singles VGC battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed, get on top of that. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokesports. Thank you so much for making this several edge team and making it a rental code for all of us to use definitely go check out his channel link to his channel will be down in the description below and i will be leaving a link to his video where he showcases his team to its fullest potential and he has the pokey paste over there so if you guys want the pokey paste i'm not going to be leaving it in my video make sure you guys go check out his video but with that out the way we can get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we got the iron valiant which a lot of people really like this Pokemon and wanted me to showcase it. So this Pokemon is on this team. It's got the Quark Drive as its ability, rocking the booster energy as its item, and then it's got Moonblast, Close Combat, Protect, and Energy Ball. So it's like half physical attacking, half special attacking, really strong Pokemon all around. Second Pokemon is going to be Kilowattle, the regional bird for Gen 9. And this Pokemon is really good as a Tailwind setter. It's got Wind Power, so when it is in a Tailwind, its Elastic Moves will actually be boosted. Then it's got the Focus Dash as item. Moveset's going to be Tailwind, Air Slash, Volt Switch, and Protect. Middle left is going to be the reason I want to showcase this team. It is Several Edge over here. And this Pokemon is super cool. Probably one of the coolest new Pokemon in Gen 9, in my opinion. I really do like this Pokemon and cannot wait to showcase it on the rank ladder. It's got Weak Armor as its ability. It's rocking the Citrus Berry as its item. And then it has Flare Blitz, Sword Stance, Shadow Sneak, and Protect for a crazy strong moveset. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shen Pao, and I haven't used this Pokemon yet, but I've seen videos and I've seen its stats and everything, it's moveful, and this Pokemon seems absolutely broken. It's got the Swords of Ruin as its ability, which when it hops onto the field, every Pokemon on the field's defense gets lowered besides him, so he's just going to be able to do crazy damage and basically win one-on-ones no problem. It's got the Life Orb as its item, it's rocking Ice Spinner as its ice move, Protect, Sucker Punch for its second stat move, and then it's got Sacred Sword for a little bit of coverage for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is my boy Grimmsnarl. You guys know Grimmsnarl is so good. And like I said in my uh, first rank battle video, Grimmsnarl is going to be top tier in this meta. It is just such a good support mod. And it really did kind of get a buff in Scarlet and Violet. It's got Luck Clay as its ability. Or not as its ability, as its item. It's got Prankster as its ability. Rocket Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Parting Shot for its fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be another support mod. It is going to be Mouse Hold over here. It's got Friend Guard, which is such a good ability for doubles, and the King's Rock as its item to give, uh, give it a flinch chance when it uses its new move, Popu Population Bomb. It's got Follow Me to protect ally Pokemon, protect, and Thunder Wave for a bit more of speed control for this team. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that doubles ladder, look to get some wet wins with this several edge team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a similar team right here. We're both rocking several edge, and we both have a mouse hold on our team. Our opponent's also rocking the Mimikyu. He's got Dragonite, and then he also has the Garchomp and the uh, the Palmot. So Iron Valiant's going to be really good because Fairy is super effective up against a few of these guys. So I might even lead this Pokemon. I might even lead this Pokemon. I could take uh, Tailwind Control with Kilowattro if I want, or I can go into a Pokemon more so like Grims. I feel like Shen Pao and Iron Valiant have to come in here, right? Makes the most sense. I could go Grimmsnarl and Several Edge, or I can go Kilowattro Solo Edge. But I kind of want uh, Several Edge in as a lead. Or I can just bring him in the back end. What do I want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? He could set up Mimikyu. Mimikyu could come out here, so I might just go in with like, Grimmsnarl or Shen Pao. I mean, Fake Out might be an option for him, so Several Edge is going to be a solid little lead here. I think Iron Valiant could come in here too. But you know, let's go Kilowattro, try to get some speed here, alongside with Iron Valiant, and then go. Shen Pao and Several Edge. I think it's going to work really good for us. I think it's going to work really, really well for us. So we're going to lead all the big attackers. We're going to get after this battle and look for a win here in our first battle. But something I forgot to mention in the team preview is I have been looking for rental teams. So if you guys have rental teams for me, either leave them in the comment section down below on my YouTube videos or even better would be heading over to my Twitter, either DM me or tweeting at me your guys' rental codes. I would love to get my hands on some teams, and I would love to use them for YouTube videos. So if you guys got some cool teams, make sure you guys get them over to me. But uh, he's going to end up leading Mimikyu and Mouse Hold over here, and we're going to Quark Drive up. And I don't think I should actually go into a... Uh, I don't think I should actually go into a Tailwind right now, because he can pop Trick him pretty easily. I'm just going to close combat the, the Mouse Hold slot. 
with this iron valiant and this pokemon is so sick with like the double dual wield sword like look at that sword in this thing's hands that's so sick this pokemon's so cool now i know why all you guys are like loving this pokemon but he's gonna end up terrestrializing here so he's gonna terrestrialize turn one that's totally fine into the mouse what do you change your typing to what typing is that is that electric it is electric the close combat really do me dirty Let's see what happens here. Close combat's gonna still drop, go here and do some big damage. Some nice damage over there. Defense is gonna drop, but it is good to know that we have speed here. Air Slash gonna fire. I wish we double down on the mouse one at this point, but we're also gonna be knocking down the disguise of Mimikyu. Might be popping a trick room. That's what I think he might be doing. Population bomb gonna come in here, and this might be taking me out because it can hit up to 10 times, I think. There's three, four. Can you stop? Five. Stop it. Yo, come on. Six. Oh, does it hit 10 times every time? Hold up. Wait a Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, that thing ripped. That thing ripped into me. Hit eight times. Eight times. Oh, maybe you got the flinch too. Give me a second. Oh, my mouse. We're going to check out the mouse hold later. That's a little rough. I could go into Shen Pao. I'm really leaning towards my boy right here. Several edge. That hurts right there. What is this game? What is this game? I'm going to go into several edge here. Um, I think I might just shadow sneak into him. And I could Volt Switch you into uh, Shen Pao. Or I could Tailwind. I don't know if that's going to kill. I'm just going to go into... Huh. Hmm. I think I'm just going to Volt Switch into you. And then Shadow Sneak across the board. How much damage Shadow Sneak goes to? 40. It's going to do 80 plus a stab. This thing is probably going to do more. I might just Terrasalize here. I am just going to Terrasalize. I'm going to Fire Terrasalize. And I'm going to just pop this. Right into you. I'm terrestrializing here. I gotta get rid of this Mimikyu. We're gonna terrestrialize. We're gonna save our Shen Pao for later. And we're getting our boy Several Edge out and about here. This Pokemon's so sick. But yo, that Population Bomb did some crazy damage. Crazy damage and it hit eight times. Full Switch can come out here. Did we pick up the KO? We do. That's a big time KO. So we get rid of the Mouse Hold. I think this Flare Bush should be able to take out this, uh, this Mimikyu. The terrestrializing here, I think, was a great play for us. And then I get out Shen Pao on top of that. And he probably has a Pokemon that's weak to him. Like, Shen Pao is ridiculously strong, guys. Gonna be one of the best Pokemon in the in the rank ladder. But, I th again, I think this Pokemon's gonna get banned. I think this Pokemon and some of the uh, future Pokemon are gonna get banned for a little bit until they want to make, like, a series with that. But he's gonna end up mimicking. It fails. It fails. So, we're just gonna drop a nice little Flare Blitz. And I think this should kill. Look at this Pokemon. So sick. Take it out. Beautiful. Big time KO. We get a crit, but we're gonna take some mean recoil damage mean mean recoil damage let's say it yeah we took some mean recoil damage there i was gonna send out his next two pokemon and if i had to guess it's gotta be it's gotta be like dragonite right dragonite's gotta be one of these guys and garchomp is it gonna be double dragon let's see it's gonna be double dragon <laughs> we are just rolling out strong here we got shen pao ready to go ice spinner can is four times super effective on the both and i'm going to who do i want to go after I feel like Garchomp might protect, so I'm just going to go after you. And I could just Shadow Sneak into Garchomp. Shadow Sneak's going to fly here. How much damage are we doing? Decent damage for Shadow Sneak. I'm all about it. And Ice Spinner's going to pick up the KO, no problem. 80 base power, stab, four times super effective. Get the Dragonite on out of here. I knew Shen Pao would rip in this battle. Can then maybe drop an EQ here? Is he going to EQ me? Yeah, he's going to EQ, which both my Pokemon should be able to eat, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Shell Edge did not eat. Kinda hurts, man. Kinda hurts. I thought he would eat because, like, the, the you guys saw the, uh, if you guys want to check it out, the attack bar kinda lagged. It, like, said I was at full HP, so I was like, oh, he ate, and then it just kinda just, like, dropped instantly. But Shen Pao eats up pretty well. That's fine. We got off a lot of damage with my boy, and now I can pretty much roll out here by using an Ice Spinner, and on top of that, drop a nice little Air Slash. So, solid battle number one. Solid battle number one. We continue our hot streak of dom dominating on this casual ladder, and just winning a bunch of battles. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. We're going up against a Quack Quavel team. Is that how you pronounce it? Quack Quavel? Something like that. But that Pokemon is really, really strong. It has uh, the ability Moxie and it has its Aqua Step move. So it can actually pick up KOs, get a speed boost from a signature move, and then attack boost from the Moxie ability. So definitely got to watch out for that Pokemon. He has Celeruge's best friend, which is going to be Armor Rouge. Um, pretty cool Pokemon, but I really just like several Ledges. Uh, 
design a little bit better. I just think it's all around cooler. But then he also has the Garchomp, Dragonite. Garchomp, Dragonite. Been seeing that a lot on the Rank Glider for some reason. The Engine Pokemon and then Jolteon as its final Pokemon. But I feel like Speed could be really good for us. Kilowatt is going to be solid here. I might want to lead it with the Several Edge. I don't think that could be too bad, but I got to watch out for that for that duck, man. That duck's annoying me. Could lead it with the Shen Pao, too. Might want to lead it with the Shen Pao. Bring Several Edge in the back end. Hmm. Or I kind of want to save the Shen Pao for the back end. I'm going to go with the ledge. I'm going to go with the ledge. Iron Valiant and Shen Pao. I think we're going with the same squad. I'm kind of digging it. I just feel like speed's going to be really good for us here. We're going to go with the same squad. We'll showcase the Mouse Hold or the Grim Snarl in, uh, in the next battle. But yeah, same squad just seems like it's going to work really, really well. Hopefully we can set up maybe a Sword Stance in turn one with uh, Several Edge. Get him rolling. But he hits really hard. His attack stat is really, really good. And I kind of like his typing, but the only problem with his typing is it's Ghost and Dark is very, very strong in this uh, matter right now. But he's going to go with the Engine Pokemon alongside with Armor Rouge. So we got Armor Rouge and Several Edge out here. Really cool. I'm going to pop a Tail in here, and I could protect turn one. I could just go straight into like a Shadow Sneak or even a Flare Blitz. I would love to set up a Swords Dance, but I'm just going to straight up Flare Blitz this thing. <clears throat> I just think it's my best bet. Then after I set up the Tailwind, we kind of just wash from here. The Tailwind's out and about. Warbots probably takes thing out. Or wait a minute, doesn't this thing have like a fire kind of ability that it gets hit with? But I think we KO, right? Yeah, we just KO it right away. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So easy KO from Several Edge. Taking that thing out in one shot. And he's going to end up attacking probably my Kilowatcher, right? Flamethrower. How much damage is doing? Did a lot of damage. That's a big damage. That's a big damage, but we had Focus Ash, and on top of that, we got off Tailwind with Kilowattrel, so I think it's a very good turn from us. He's going to send out this little Pokemon, and it's going to be this thingy. This thingy. I might just have to protect it. Actually, I could Volt Switch out. Volt Switch might be able to pick up the KO. Then I can straight up Shadow Sneak Cross. I'm liking that. I'm liking that, but yeah, dude, this stuck we have to watch out for. I'm going to pop a Shadow Sneak here and do half damage, which is really, really strong for a Shadow Sneak. I'm going to just Volt Switch out of here. And KO, yo, Kilowattro with wind power. Insanely strong. Insanely strong. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 Shen Pao could actually come out here and win us the game, but I'm tired of Shen Pao. I'm going to use Iron Valiant. Shen Pao could legit come out here and win us the game. But Iron Valiant could come in here, and this is going to be a sweep, I think. Unless this boy picks up a KO. Let's see what he does. My speed is heightened with the course drive. Flamethrower is going to fly here, probably into that slot. Should be able to eat. Oh my god, I think there's so much damage. That Armor Rouge does some damage. That does some damage. Does some damage. He brings out Dragonite, and I think I can pretty much say GG, right? Yeah, I'm a fairy Terras type, so... I am going to Terrasalize here. And I'm just going to Shadow Sneak and take out you. Even though I'm 4 HP, I'm just going to Terras here, get off that double damage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're going to Terrasalize here. This battle's going perfectly. We're just dominating it right now. And Gallade or Iron Valiant. I, I wish they were called like Future Gallade or something. I don't really like the names too much. But we're going we're gonna to Terrasalize this thing with Fairy. Shadow Sneak's on a fly. Should be easy KO, right? Get on out of here, Armor Rouge. Several Edge is better. And then I'm just going to drop a mean old Moon Blast here. Should be able to pick up KO. Stab, double damage with Terras type. Later. Yeah, this did light work. Light work in battle number two. Absolutely dominate that one. And I think we swept it. Nice little sweep in battle number two. We can hop to our third battle and look for a close one. Final battle coming at you guys. And if we win this one, we are an absolute god. We're going up against some of the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. He's got Maridon alongside a Garchomp. Several Edge, just like us. He has the uh, the Brute Bonnet, which is the Amoongus uh, new form. He's got the Iron Hands, which is the Hariyama new form. And then he's got Shen Pao. This one's looking real tough, but I'm going to lead my Shen Pao. I'm going to get after it that way. Shen Pao's just way too good. He's just way too good. Again, I think he's going to be banned in uh, in rank play, like all those guys, because their abilities are just legit OP. They're just way too strong. I'm going to go Shen Pao. I might even go Mouse Hold here. A little battle number one Mouse Hold. I'm all about it. We have Follow Me. We can protect our Shen Pao. We kind of roll out from there. Several Edge in the back end, and then Iron Valiant. I'm kind of digging it. I could go Kilowattro, but I really like the Valiant. Valiant's speed is already ridiculously high. Give it the booster booster energy. It's going to be able to outspeed pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. All right, I'm about it. I'm about it. Let's enter him in. 
over 2-0. Oh. We we're looking for that perfect bracket, but this team's looking tough. <laughs> this team's looking tough. He's using a legendary, and these legendaries are OP in battles. Like, they're just ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. I do have my boy Shen Pao. Shen Pao plays no games. He plays no games, but let's see who he ends up leading. Maridon and Several Edge. Yeah. Don't like it, but pretty cool Pokemon. I'm bringing out the Shen Pao, which Shen Pao, I can suck a punch and take out Several Edge, no problem right now. Harden Energy. Is that Electric Terrain? I could actually take out... You know what? Let's take out the Terrain and kill the Maridon because Ice Spinner breaks all terrains too. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to follow me here. I'm just going to protect my Shen Pao here. I think Shen Pao's got it. Got it. Got to be the guy to kind of kind of get ripping in these people. So Ice Spinner's going to fly here. We're going to take out the Terrain and I think we're going to pick up the KO here, right? Oh, let's go. Let's go. I came to play, yo. I came to play. I came to play. Use a legendary against me. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not having it. But we take out the terrain. That's that's exactly what I want to do. This thing is sword stance. I'm fine with that, yo. I can sucker punch and take that thing out. I can sucker punch and take that thing out. I'm not too worried about it. Unless he brings in like a follow me Pokemon. And it's gonna be brute bonnet. Tough. Tough. I could follow me again. Uh but I'm gonna go for a sucker punch. Right after this thing, and I'm just gonna population bomb this brute bonnet bonnet. I'm gonna look to get the 10 hits. Sucker Punch gonna fly. Is he Swords Dance again? I'm scary. Population Bomb flying here. How much hits are we gonna get? There's one. Oh, this thing's Rocky Helmet. I might die here. I'm gonna die. Stop hitting him, please. Stop hitting him. Are you kidding me? Rocky Helmet coming in hot here. That's gonna kill me. No way that thing kills me. Can you stop hitting, Mousehold? I'm dead. I'm on 1 HP. Don't hit. Don't hit again. Do not hit again. I just killed myself to a Rocky helmet. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, though. That's actually really funny. Let's see what he does. Probably my Shen Pao dies here. He's sword dancing. What's Brute Bonnet going for? What is this? Spore. You're going to spore me. Okay, it's, it's fine, I guess. That's cool, I guess. You want to play like that? Um, hmm. What can I go into from here? I could go with Cell Edge. Um, I could go with you. Mm, I do have Moon Blast ready to rock. And I do have the Quirk Drive, so my speed's gonna be up, so I'm gonna swap him in. I really just died to a Rocky Helmet. I really just died to a Rocky Helmet. That's actually hilarious. The one time I used this mouse hold, dropped my first population bomb. <laughs> Dude's rocking with that. Um, I mean, I guess I'll go into an Ice Spinner here. And I might thrash you. Do I Terrasse? I can't close combat. It's tough. I could protect you this turn. He's going in for my Shen Pao. I think we just Terrasse and get off as much damage as we can. Even if there's several edge. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Spore's going to be annoying. He's probably Spore me again. Which maybe I should have took out with Brute Bonnet, but... I feel like a plus four. We got to watch out for this thing. Plus four. I'll probably die to a, to a Shadow Sneak, not gonna lie. The defense is down from Shen Pao. He's gonna Rage Powder. Okay, so we take out the Brute Bonnet here. And Moonblast's gonna fly. So if you leave my Shen Pao on the field, once it wakes up, I can constantly suck a punch until, until that thing moves. So we get rid of the Brute Bonnet. We say see you later, that thing. Let's see what he's gonna do here. What move are you rocking with? You gonna, are you Flare Blitz on my Shen Pao? I think you're Flare Blitz on my Shen Pao. I'm gonna Bitter Blade here. I'm gonna take out my Iron Valiant. So Iron Valiant dies out here. And is that an HP recovery move? So at least my Shen Pao alive. That's too bad. That's not too bad. At least the Shen Pao alive. I have several edge ready to go. I mean, Shadow Sneak might be able to KO. Defense is down because Shen Pao's out on the field. Let's see who he brings out here. Let's see who his final Pokemon's gonna be. It's gonna be Garchomp. I don't mind the Garchomp. I don't mind the guard time. I obviously got to go for Sucker Punch here. And I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. I'm going to double straight down the Several Edge. I'm doubling straight down this thing. It's got to go. Shen Pao wakes up. KO that thing, please. Okay, see you later. Dope. Good work, Shen Pao. <gasps> it's Sash. Good thing we doubled down. Good thing we doubled down, yo. Good thing we doubled down. Huge play from us. Huge play from us. Doubling down into this thing. We get rid of the Saddle Edge. That's really good for us. That is huge for us. I wonder what Chomp's doing. 
Is he chopping EQ? He might be dropping EQ. Liquidation on the chop. That's in chaos. No, it does not. Huge. Huge. That's going to be GG's, though. That is going to be GG's. We're going to go 3-0. And what a third and final battle. Taking out legendaries. Our citrus berries popping here. Taking out legendaries. Taking out a plus four. Several edge. Taking out a brute bonnet. Brute bonnet is really, really strong. But from here, sucker punch is super effective. No, it schemes like glitch. Like, look, it still has, like, the super effective mark over there. So, we got nowhere typings. Ice spinner over there. And then, I mean, I guess I'll shadow sneak. I guess I'll just shadow sneak here. But I think our opponent might just cancel the battle with Shen Pao on the field. He's going to Taras here. Ooh, are you dragon type? What type are you? Dragon or ground you're going to die to, right? It's going to be something other than that. It's going to be water. Okay. That's solid. This little water. Little water Taras type. I'm going to shadow sneak here. And shadow sneak does some nice damage here. Ice Spinner's going to come out here. Probably not KO, but still do some nice damage. Yep, pretty good damage there. And if he doesn't KO any of my Pokemon, he should be fine here. He's going to EQ. Shen Pao, you should be able to eat. Shen Pao eats. I think several edge dies. Yeah. And I think we're fine here. I think Sucker Punch should be able to take out all day, right? I think Sucker Punch KOs all day. So I'm just going to constantly Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch comes out here. GG's. It is GG's. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 for today's video. Got the showcase, Shen Pao. Got the showcase, my boy, Several Edge. And uh, win all of our battles. This team right here might be the most broken Several Edge team out there. This team is ridiculously OP with the Shen Pao, the Killer Watcher for Speed Control, and then you got the Grim Snarl and Mouse Hole for support. You cannot go wrong with this team. Super strong and really easy to win with. One last huge shout out to my boy Pokey Sports for actually making this team a rental code. Like I said, link to his channel will be down in the description below. Go show him some genius love. And if you guys want to check out the post Pokey Pace for this team, I will be leaving it down in the link in the description below to Pokey Sports' video on this uh, team because that's where he has the Pokey Pace. And I'd rather you guys go check out his channel and his video for this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.